Entrepreneurial Epiphany. No one really knows whether Archimedes really ran naked through the streets of Syracuse shouting Eureka. When the Greek scientist imagined in his bath what would later become the concept behind the density of the body, perhaps he was actually demonstrating more restraint. But the legend lives on because we like to represent ideas as sudden phenomena. We like to think that great ideas are beyond us and come without warning, like lightning. In the world of startups, lightning ideas have a name, an epiphany. This qualifies the moment when an entrepreneur has an idea and suddenly has a clear understanding of a problem or situation. It is within this epiphany that entrepreneurs decide to create their startups. In reality, it doesn't work that way. Why does the concept of entrepreneurial epiphany make no sense for digital entrepreneurs? The Origins of Ideas The entrepreneurial epiphany implies that startup ideas arise exclusively from the discovery of a novel solution to a given problem. But startup ideas can emerge in many other ways. As examples, just look at the cases of Facebook and Twitter. Mark Zuckerberg didn't have the brilliant and original idea of creating a social network to connect students since it already existed. He was even contacted to work for one of such social networks called the Harvard Connection. And the founders of Twitter did not create the concept of microblogging. Microblogging first emerged in the 90s. The path of an entrepreneur is always original. An entrepreneur can be frugal, opportunistic, prospective, driven by a mission, motivated by discovery, and eagerness for freedom. An entrepreneur can also innovate unknowingly or by copying. At any rate, an entrepreneur struck by an epiphany is far from the only type of entrepreneur. The Realization of Ideas The entrepreneurial epiphany is believing that the idea is the most important thing, and that couldn't be further from the truth. The most successful digital companies reach their targeted audience as a result of major readjustments of their value proposition. In the business world, these adjustments are called pivots. YouTube, for example, was originally conceived as an online dating site where singles could meet through personal videos. The lack of traction on this first product quickly led the founders to radically change the positioning of their startup. As for Android, it was originally created to become an operating system for cameras. And Flickr was born from a massively multiplayer online role-playing game. It is important to affirm that ideas are not enough in the entrepreneurial field. They can generate enthusiasm and optimism for the one who defends them, but they are nothing more than assumptions that must, above all else, constantly be tested, amended, and readjusted. We cannot say it enough, but it is in its execution and in the ability of the entrepreneurs to pivot that the entrepreneurial success is achieved. The Startup Ideas Improvements Finally, the entrepreneurial epiphany offers a rough representation of the ideation process. The ideas are not born magically in the mind of the owner. Startup ideas emerge and enrich in through sharing and discussing with others. Let's take the case of Instagram. By creating Bourbon, Kevin Systrom was able to meet Mike Krieger with whom he shared his vision for online photography. Had this discussion never taken place, Instagram would probably not be the success it is today. By giving ideas an exaggerated place in that it is solely the result of an unpredictable process by an individual, the entrepreneurial epiphany invites future entrepreneurs not to share their ideas. However, experience shows that it is actually better to do the opposite. By sharing their ideas, entrepreneurs will advance and multiply their ideas, advocating for more decisive future collaborations throughout their entrepreneurial adventures.